well shit it would appear that I've lost a content video today for reasons I cannot get into not everyone is subject to becoming my content but if you do be dirt I may have a story to share with the world okay that's all I'm saying you know am I gonna name names no that's bullshit you know a little more class than that but just heads up okay so especially if it's a great story but let's move beyond that nothing to do with um, anyone I have issues with currently in fact it's the complete opposite it's all tangled here all right so and by the way hopefully this place right here hopefully this can become the RV just for clothes and makeup this is actually in pristine condition no leaks um, obviously I can't paint it and get all creative with it but I really just needed somewhere for clothes and makeup and I'm hoping this is gonna work so yay okay totally not the topic of the video let's get into that so I want to talk about hot guys who don't actually know they're hot recently scored a unicorn guy or two in the looks department because they are quite the sight for eyes to see but they are completely oblivious to this how I have my theories. I swore these kind of guys off when I was younger, sort of. <laughs> the hotties I swore off back then were a completely different breed and I am most certain they knew they were hot. Big difference between them and the new people. Because they knew they were hot, they clearly kept their options open. Me being an option at the time. Being an option sucks, right? I was just that, an option. It was an option, not a choice. It doesn't feel good. One or two burns from sexy dudes back in the day it's totally knocked down my standards in the looks department for a very, very long time. And my thought process then, having very little experience, was that they would have a wandering eye, that I would feel insecure, and that if our looks were in each other's leaks, I feel like that would always be a constant. Like whether it was not outright said, it would just be kind of like subliminally lingering, like people around us thinking about that stuff. And when you're in school, when you're younger, like kind of social opinion, whether you say you care or it matters or not, it does, let's be honest. Especially if it's like overly positive or overly negative, it does tend to have an impact, right? If they're super hot and their eyes will wander, their needs would exceed my abilities to make them happy and further disintegrate my almost non-existent self-esteem, especially then. So fast forward through me dating average looking guys and surprise, surprise, if <laughs> they, were, they were actually what I assumed the hot guy would be like, if not worse, yeah. And these were average to Definitely not good-looking guys. I'm not shallow at all. I think substance is the most important thing at the end of the day. Which brings me to now. I have two guys on the horizon. Yes, two. Actually, no, one. <laughs> it's so sad. One I had to kind of sadly, I don't know, kind of let do their own thing, maybe put them on a hiatus for the quarantine for the time being uh, due to their living situation, they're around people that they're very concerned or high risk to get the COVID, I want the blame for that, or anything like that. So that just seems like, mm, yeah, we'll just try to wait that out. But I don't know if there's anything, if, the, if there's gonna be something whenever this whole quarantine thing is done, I really have no idea. See, I don't think a pandemic will stop this guy anytime soon. And let's call him uh, Brandon for just, argument's sake. <laughs> I don't want to accidentally say his name and put him on blast. I have a theory on why he's hot but doesn't know it. And yes, I'm looking at notes. One, and this is not an issue. Like, I want to say before I go back onto my tangent, or I feel like I'm going off side topic, but I just want to say anyone who's potentially a late bloomer, you have no reason to feel insecure about that. I think um, a girl that is emotionally mature might actually find some sort of like, like I personally think it's cute. You know, there may be something about it that like there's kind of like a boyish charm or um, an innocence, you know? Our first kiss wasn't until college. And I was like, oh wow, that's quite a while, but that's okay. He says he's a late bloomer when it comes to girls, sex relationships, etc. 
in certain ways I think begs to differ. <laughs> what they're capable of, you would never know it. They fooled me. While spending several days together, I noticed his unique diet. And it's great that he didn't like make me feel bad about mine because mine is horrible. A lot of sugar and carbs. This is pretty much the extent of it. Oh, I love fruit and veggies. Same for this diet. And off the top of my head, I do not actually know what it's called. But it's all animal products, no fruit and veggies. And he didn't give me shit about my own personal diet choices. Uh, he tells me that he will show me the before him. Me, hey, this was me before. And he was, you know, quite a bit overweight. Like, not like ridiculous, but you know, definitely big difference between now and then. I just realized, ugh. You know, that probably affected his confidence. And like, that's why he's so sweet. You know, and doesn't realize everything he has going for him. I wouldn't change anything. I'm guessing that that made him shy about approaching girls. Kids are mean. Kids are really, really mean. It, it doesn't matter if you're too thin, overweight, what color you are. Kids will find some reason to give you shit, especially if you react to it. I know that firsthand because I was picked on constantly in school. I think the fact that he waited a long time for experience and that he's kind of becoming what he wants to be on the inside and out, I think that's why a certain individual who is still around, who I did not have to put on hiatus, Brandon, right, we're calling him Brandon, I think the fact that he's a late bloomer, I think the fact that his um, esteem was based more on the inside initially than on the outside, I think that's why he's so great and that's why he's hot and doesn't know it. I don't know if Brandon's gonna see this video or not, if you do, I think you're great and I wouldn't change anything and I don't care what you looked like yesterday or 10 years ago. I think you're a really great person and I'll see you soon.